So when I run it, I can simply say that it is still uploading as you can see the status here. That is uploading your video player .apk file on the emulator. After this step, it will try to start the activity. Okay, I got a question. The question is what's the use of set media controller? Set media controller is uh, generally gives you the controller of those medias, the buttons which I have shown you. These buttons which are coming here, if you can see the back button, the previous button, the next button and the play and pause button. These buttons you can get with the help of your uh, media controller. So media controller option gives you this uh, leverage to use these buttons as associated with it. If you do not use media controller, you won't get these options. And it is also showing you the progress bar, how much video played, how much is remaining, etc, etc information. Okay, uh, I got the same case again, that is the video is not able to play it. I said okay. If I try to play it. To make sure your video is not correct, you can always uh, check it on your uh, media player or any app, the player application if you have, whether it is working or not. If it's working, then the file is fine. That is, the file is not corrupted. There's one also the step to uh, debug that the particular application. Okay, so far it's, uh, is it clear the video player and the notification bar, these two are the two things which is stuck up today because of certain problems. Uh, I would be initiating them into the next class at the starting as a kind of 15 or 20 minutes recap to cover up them. By that time you can also apply your hands on on these stuff and you can work it out. If you find any problem, then you can definitely get in touch with our support team and you can get back to any of them to sort it out. Is it clear with the explanation so far as far as conceptual understanding is concerned and why we are using which class, which variable, where and what? Can you please acknowledge me? Okay guys, sounds good, uh, then uh, please do one thing that whatever has been explained so far, the one which example which I have shown which is successfully run and uh, shown to you and the previous class concepts, try to develop couple of application on yourself like one of the calculator simple application, addition, subtraction, playing a simple song using media player or something, something whichever you think that yes, it is a simple one you can create it, try to create them, once that is done, you can definitely feel yourself a confidence and then you will be able to figure out which method to use, which is not to use, then why you are using it and the way the entire hands-on has to be pushed in Android that you will be get in touch with. At the same time, if you face do face any problem, please our support class to let know and they will be able to assist you for the same. I request you all to please fill a survey which will be there as a feedback and it will help me to improve a lot. Today two of the topics which were stuck up, one of them is the video view part and second is the notification manager. Although they have ex been explained in conceptual wise, uh, there was some error which came from the Eclipse side in case of notification and video player is there is something which is not allowing the video to get played, we'll, I'll explain it in the next class in first 20 minutes. So we will have also have a refreshment and the complete recap of these two concepts which are very important and then you can focus on the same and start developing few of the applications which will energize you more and will give more confidence inside you that how much Android you know and how much difficulties you do face. Thank you all. That's it from my side. I hope you like the class and please do not forget to fill the survey. 
I'll improve myself accordingly. Thanks. Bye.